Hi everybody, Phil here with another DIY video episode. Today we're going to be talking about wastewater generated by a reverse osmosis water purification system. I had one of these installed under my kitchen sink and it creates nice clean drinking water, but it generates a lot of wastewater. I decided to do something about all that wastewater being generated and to use it around the house without flushing it down the drain. Stick with me all the way to the end so that you can see in detail what I did and how you can probably build one of these systems yourself for your house if you are using a reverse osmosis purification system. And don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, please click on the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. A few months ago, I installed this six stage water purification system. It's a reverse osmosis system. And I noticed that after I installed it, that it generates about four and a half gallons of wastewater for every one gallon of clean water that it produces. Now, the listing on Amazon where I bought this said that it's supposed to have 1.5 to 1 uh, waste factor. So uh, I thought, well, great. But as it turns out, it's more than four gallons to one waste factor, which is uh, clearly not truthful advertising, but it's here, it's done, and I decided, well, I'm going to figure out a way not to have to throw all that wastewater down the drain. So I came up with a solution, and uh, this video is about that solution and how I put it together. I'll show you some numbers and how the pieces fit together, and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful to you if this is what, something that you're considering. So my reverse osmosis system takes five gallons of water from the utility and produces one gallon of clean water and four gallons of wastewater. Now that's approximate. It's actually a little more than four gallons, but for purposes of this video, I'm just going to call it four gallons. So I did some math and let's say I need two gallons of clean drinking water every day. And that two gallons of wa uh, clean water every day takes 10 gallons to make using my system. Now in one month, that's 10 gallons per day times 30 days or 300 gallons needed to produce that two gallons of water every day. Now currently our utility charges around $7.24 per HCF. Each HCF is 748 gallons. So my cost for 300 gallons is 300 over 748, which is 0.401 times 724, and that equals $2.90 per month for two gallons of clean drinking water every day. But that also produces 270 gallons of wastewater every month. Now, the standard installation of my system says to just send the wastewater directly into the drain. But my system works this way. So instead of going directly to the drain, I have a series of fittings. So initially, I have a check valve, which is a one-way check valve, and it only allows water to flow in this direction. It goes into a T, and the one side goes into my catch tub, it's a bucket, through a float valve, and the other side goes through another check valve, which allows to, the flow only to go in this direction, into the drain. When the system is making water and assuming the tank is empty, the water flows in this path from the system through this check valve, through the T and out this way, and through the float valve and into the tub. Once the tub is full, that float valve closes and then the water will flow in this direction into the drain. I have the functioning set up. Right now the system is making water. As you can see, the water is dripping through my float valve into the tank. Now on the line that's going to be connected into the drain, I have a check valve that only allows flow in one direction, but more importantly, it requires a, a certain amount of minimal pressure before it starts flowing. So the way it's going to work is, hopefully I can demonstrate this. 
Okay, so when the float valve shuts off because the water level is high, it's going to flow out of this line, and that's the line that's going to be connected into the drain. So right now it's flowing into the tank, and when it gets full, the flow goes up, closes the valve, and it flows through the other tube that goes into the drain. So that's how it's going to work, and we'll be done. I have my wastewater setup complete, so let me walk you through the water flow. This system has six different filter elements. Before it goes into the tank, but out of the membrane, it has a wastewater line. Right now it's flowing because I have it making water and it's using this float valve to switch the water flow between the tub and the drain connection where it's plugged into the drain. It comes out of the wastewater line from the system into a one-way check valve. So it prevents any wastewater that might backflow out of the drain and into the system. So it blocks that, okay? But more importantly, there's another one-way check valve right here, which also only allows the water to flow that way. So no matter what, dirty water is not getting into our system. The black line, the wastewater, goes into a T where on one side on the bottom it comes out and into just this is just an elbow and then it connects to the top of the float valve. I have this elbow here because when I have to empty this I have to move it out from under the sink uh, so I wanted it to have a, a rotating elbow since these are all push fittings it's going to just freely rotate if I need it to. The other side of that T goes into another check valve and then up and over into the drain. So when the tub gets full, it's going to close the float valve. That'll close and it's going to wa the water's now flowing into the drain. So that's the system. And there you have it. No moving parts, no pumps. I catch as much wastewater as possible and then I dump it into the pool. That's my system. Well, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching what I went through to create the catch system for my wastewater under my sink. Um, I generate about five to 10 gallons of wastewater practically every day. And that's used to go into the pool. And also sometimes I use it to water the trees uh, around the backyard. Um, so I'm not letting any of that w water go to actual literal waste. And this way, I, I'd like to think that I'm doing my little part in uh, helping with the water shortage here in uh, California. I'm told that this is another drought year. So that's my little part. It's not a whole lot of money, but every little bit helps, right? Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>